Hello friends, wizards, witches, and skincare muggles, I don't know. Um, today, I'm gonna be doing a very chill, relaxed skincare routine. That's right, a lot of you have asked me for this video for quite some time, and I thought now was a really good time to do it. So if you wanna just chill and watch how I do my self-care for my face, then keep on watching. And if you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you like to part of our weird, magical online family or beauty online family today. So welcome to my bathroom. This is one of my favorite places to be. It's very calm and I could spend hours in here, honestly. And doing my skincare is something that I really enjoy. I completely zone out. Uh, I always have a bottle of water with me because hydration uh, is good for your skin. Um, Yes, um, <laughs> not sponsored by water, I promise. So the first thing that I do when it comes to my face, whether I've got makeup on or whether I haven't, is a really good cleanse. Now, there's not just one product that I go for here. I have a few. Um, I've got this one, which is the L'Oreal Paris Fine Flowers Milk. So this does remove makeup. Uh, it cleanses and nourishes. And it's just kind of like a kind of creamy, substance but it feels really good on the skin uh, i also have this one here which is um a a balm it's called clean it zero cleansing balm original and as you can see i have taken quite the chunks out of this i like it because it's got a little spatula uh, i'm probably going to be using this one today to be fair uh, i do have a new one as well this has been sent to me just to let you guys know um by Style Pro, and this is the Easy on the Eye Hydrating Jelly Cleanser. Uh, this is really weird. It's a really strange consistency, but um, I have been enjoying that recently. So those are the three cleansers that I kind of rotate around. But let's just get to it, shall we? Okay, so the Clean It Zero Balm. I am gonna grab that little spatula. Um, fun story, I was doing this the other day, just like I'm doing now, and I had my door open to the bathroom and Chris decided to walk in, cameraman Chris, and he stood there and just stared at me for a moment and I stared at him like, and he genuinely thought that, <laughs> he was like, I thought you were putting mayonnaise on your face. <laughs> Why would I be putting mayonnaise on my face? Um, so I'm just gonna run the tap a little bit just to moisten my fingers and then I'm just gonna kind of go in circles and really massage it into every nook and cranny on my face. Um, I really get in there, especially when I have makeup on. I will rub this all into my makeup and I'll get right into there, into the eyelashes, um, and then you'll look like a panda. Uh, I'm not wearing makeup today though, so. Oh, got loads in my hair. It's a great start. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just making sure to get into every little part of my face, which I know sounds really weird, but just massaging it in there, it's got a really nice texture. And I also try with any excess to kind of go underneath as well. And once you feel as though you've cleansed, I will then take a cloth. Um, I have quite a lot of cloths. I have these little flannels that I buy um, to try and avoid uh, makeup wipes. So I do still have makeup wipes, but I very rarely use them. I used to use them on a daily basis, but I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious when it comes to the environment and the planet. So I've got a lot of these white face cloths. I also have this very soft black one, which is by Star Pro. This was also gifted to me. Um, so soft though. Um, I am gonna go ahead and use my white one though, because these are the ones that I use all the time. And depending on what mood I'm in, um, I will use hot water, cold water. I'm sure there's people that are gonna be like, oh, you shouldn't use that temperature water use what I want it's my face so I'm just gonna wring that out like so and then just really kind of like give my face a good scrub <laughs> but trying not to pull all of my face because we don't want wrinkles okay so there we have it 
that's the cleansing step. Now sometimes, if I have got makeup on, I will then go to another cleanser and do it again as like a double cleanse. But I don't need to do that today because my face was already makeup free. Next up, I now I use this one to two times a week. It's not a daily product. You may have seen this in my last favorites video. This is the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Revealing Liquid Peel. Uh, sounds disgusting, but I am gonna go ahead and use this. So you use this after you've cleansed, and I like to take a pump onto the back of my hand and then place it where I want it to go. Now for the fun bit, going around in circles until all your dead skin decides to fall off your face. Oh, it's so gross. Someone said, oh, it's not dead skin. I swear to God it is. But it's at least all the minging oils in your skin that it's like clinging onto. Because if you do this onto a latex glove, it doesn't work. but it's so satisfying, all those little balls. It's kind of disgusting, but it's kind of satisfying at the same time. And once you feel as though you've kind of got all the grossness off, we're gonna swill our little face off. Looks like I've got cottage cheese on my face. I'm not one of these people that like to splash water on their face. Um, <laughs> so I always use the face towels. Just get all that crud off your face, seriously. I'm reborn, I'm a new woman. The next step that I do is a toner. Now, had I ever used a toner before last year? No, I hadn't. Uh, this is, again, it's part of the same L'Oreal range as one of my cleansers, and it remo removes impurities, and it invigorates and smooths your skin apparently. Um, and this is a step that you do after cleansing and whatever I just did. Uh, now for these, now this is something that you guys might be interested in. Um, I recently purchased this bag of reusable uh, little iPads, makeup pads. There's one side that's black and kind of fuzzy to get all your eye makeup off and then the white side is for toning and you get two of these bags one for the clean ones and then a bag to put the dirty ones in and you can just put them straight into the washing machine which is great because i used to constantly purchase cotton pads and um yeah so i feel a little bit better about this and so these are what I'm gonna be using for the next step, which is toner. And I just get the white side of one of these pads and kind of sploop it on. Sploop, yeah, we, we went with that word today. And then I'll get another one and kind of make them friends. And just kind of, I might put more on. These are like sponges. Get on there. It smells really good. So yeah, this kind of gets all the, any grossness that is left on your skin after your cleansing session. So sometimes you'll get like the babiest bit of like makeup off that's left, but my skin's quite clean, so we're good. Okay, we're feeling good. Oh, I just love this routine. It just makes me feel so like new and shiny. Okay, next up we have got my serums. Now, did I buy bougie serums last year and spend a little bit too money, much money on them? Yes, but uh, I wanted to invest in my face because I'm not getting any younger, let's be real. Um, so I try to make my face routine nice. Okay, so bougie serums. Now I have three of these. These are the Glossier, serums and they all do different things. Sometimes I'll just use one depending on what my face needs that day. Sometimes I'll use a combination or sometimes if I'm really, really fancy, I will use all three. So this one here is probably my least used one. This is the Glossier Super Glow Vitamin C Serum. So this just makes you more glowy. Uh, this one is the Super Bounce with Hyrolic, Hyaluronic, that's a great word acid and vitamin B5. Um, so that's that one. Hang on, let me tell you what these do. So the glow one is to brighten, energize, dull, tired skin. Uh, the bounce one is to ease and soften tight, rough skin. 
And then this one, which is my favorite in the middle, the blue one. I know it looks like I haven't used these, but it's like a little dropper and you're not meant to use too much. This is the Glossier Pure um, and it, it, it calms breakout prone skin. I do have a little bit of a breakout on my chin at the moment, which is great timing. So I'm definitely gonna be using the blue one and I might use the glow on the rest of my face. So yeah, I think I'm gonna use these two. And I'm gonna go in with the glow one first. I love these bottles. It's got like a little floop. And then you just kind of pipette it onto your face. Now with these, I'm not, I'm not gonna like drag it around my face because I don't want to drag. So we're gonna pat it in, give it a bit of a tap. So the reason we don't wanna like drag or the reason I don't want to drag is because I feel as though it's just not gonna be good for your skin and it's gonna create something bad. I just want my skin to be good. So I treat it with kindness. Kindness and love. Okay, so that's enough bouncing there. Um, then I go in with the Super Pure. So I will put this where I'm prone to getting breakouts. This one I don't use all over my face. Um, I tend to just use it on my chin, around my nose area, um, and sometimes temples. That's definitely not dripping into my mouth. <laughs> and again, same. Pat, pat, pat. Now, something that you can do as well to help this along is using a stone roller. I bought this from Amazon for about 10 pounds. It's made out of rose quartz. Uh, I actually like running mine under the tap first to make it really cold, because uh, then it's real satisfying on your face. Obviously, like, roll it off onto a towel or something to get all the excess off, but it'll be cold now and, and clean, which helps. So you roll away, apparently you can have like, I mean, I'm probably chatting crap here, but you, you, if you roll away from your face from like the inside out, it all the kind of excess fluid kind of goes back. I don't know, I'm not a skincare expert. I just do, I'm just showing you what I do, okay? I'm not saying it's the correct way to do things, but it's how I do it. Um, and I also do it down my neck as well. It's like, if anything can help my double chin go down, <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> Um, but yeah, oh, it just feels nice. I also really like the under eye one. It's like, oh, I'll tell you why I bought this. It's quite a sad reason. Um, I was having a bit of a sad month and I cried a bit and my eyes were so sore underneath. I was like, I need something to help. So I bought this and the coolness from it was great. <laughs> There's a happy story for you. Okay, I think I'm done rolling. Now for some next steps. Now, during my face skin routine, I also like to look after my lips. Um, I have uh, cursed lips. <laughs> they, they are large and they tend to peel sometimes, especially in the winter, it's really gross. Um, but they can get quite dry and I hate it. So I use a lip scrub. This one is the bubblegum one from Lush. It smells so good. It smells like Snow Fairy and it is sugar. Uh, you can eat it, it is edible, but I mean, I'm not going to because I'm not eating sugar at the moment, but I normally get a little bit on the back of my nail and put it on my mouth. <laughs> and I'm just like scrubbing, exfoliating your lips basically. And this is how you keep your lips nice and subtle. Subtle, subtle, Su what's the word? Supple. Yes. Mm, it does taste so good. This is a mess though. <laughs> And any sugar crumbs that are just escaped onto your face, just, just wipe them away, we're good. Uh, then I will go in with my O'Keeffe's Lip Repair. This is my Holy Grail lip product. I used to use a lot of lip balms, but I feel as though they made my lips drier until I found this. So this is the Lip Repair. It's an unscented lip balm and oh, it's great. I even recommend this to my dad. My dad got one. It just keeps your lips so soft. Uh, this is not vegan. It has beeswax in it, just to let you guys know. Um, mm, my lips feel good though. They feel so, so good. Very soft. Uh, okay, what do I do next? I will then moisturize this face. 
Depending what time of day it is will determine what I use at this step. Uh, so I have two. I have my day cream and my night cream. How old do I sound right now? But you'll all be jealous when I look snatched when I'm like 50. So this is the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Glow start that again. This is the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturizer. Um, this is the same brand and in, it's in this collection as the peel. And I got sold, I got sold two in the shop. I was like, yep, yeah, I'll take them both. Uh, but I actually really enjoy this one. So this is the one I will be using today because it is currently daytime. But I also have this, which is by L for ELF, whatever you'd like to call it. And this is their Nourishing Night Cream. This looks bougie, but honestly, it's so affordable. And I love it. I love doing that before bed. So yeah, we're gonna be using this. The only thing that I don't have in my skincare routine, which I'm gonna get like a slap on the wrist for, I'm sure, is an SPF. Um, I do have SPF in a lot of the makeup that I wear, especially like my foundations and stuff. But when I'm not, I don't currently have an SPF. So if you have a really good SPF, uh, recommendation please let me know in the comments I'll be sure to be reading through some of those because I really really need to get one because the Sun hates everybody and I just want to protect my skin really I'm feeling soft and I smell citrusy it's good and sometimes this isn't an everyday skincare product because I'm quite lazy when I get to my moisturize I I'm done and voila. But sometimes I will use my Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Treatment Lotion Mist. God, they have long names. They have really, really long names. And this, what's it, what do you even do? I just spray it on my face sometimes. Spritz skin awake fast, ultra refreshing. Oil, oil free mist lightly hydrates and delivers an instant energy boost to tired skin. Hey, I'll take what I can get. Mm, yes. Okay, that's my skin and that's how I do it. And I try to do this daily, sometimes twice a day if I put makeup on, but mm, I feel like I'm glowing. I'm a little glow baby. Yeah, is there anything that I'm missing from my skincare routine? Um, I'm not a skincare guru, <laughs> but if you have any recommendations, leave them down below, especially SPFs. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, did you? Are you still here? I mean, I'm impressed if you are, to be honest. So yeah, that's it, that's my face. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That really helps and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.